All right, everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek, and welcome back to Friday Night Magic Duels, the show where I misplay decks uh, created by the community. This week, we're looking at a deck called Haunted Colossus. This deck was submitted by a fan of this channel named Diego Braco. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, he submitted this deck here. Um, I guess you can call this an artifact ramp deck. It is black and blue, but mostly black and actually mostly uh, artifacts. And uh, it basically, it's all about ramping up to one big creature and then uh, smashing the opponent's face. So let's go ahead and see how this deck is put together. Um, so we start off with uh, three glint nest cranes to try to search out for some artifacts. We have two scrap heap scroungers, uh, basically just some early game game creatures. Uh, we have two smugglers copter, which is just good in just about any deck. We have three alchemist vow, which uh, count as artifacts. Um, well, they're artifacts, and they give us a card draw and can help keep us alive. Uh, very useful. We have three grasp of darkness to just get rid of problematic uh, creatures. Foundry inspector to make some of our big high cost things uh, much easier to bring out. And it's a decent sized creature at three two, so not bad. We have uh, two cultivators caravan, which can just help us ramp, and it's also a five five creature. We we have uh, three Haunted Cloaks, which are uh, part of the combo of this deck. It's an artifact that will give a creature Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. Uh, and only costs one to equip, and the Haste is the important part, as we'll see in a minute. We have three Seer's Lantern, which lets us also ramp and scry for better things. We have one Padim Console of Innovation, um, who's not super necessary, but you know gives our artifacts X-proof and can let us draw cards uh, if we have high-cost things. We have Languish, uh, two of them, just to keep us alive. We have two Diabolic Tutors to uh, search out our, um, basically, uh, win conditions. We have one Sky Sovereign's Console Flagship, which is one of the cards that we can use to win the game. Bring that out. Uh, we have two Tamiyo's Journal to help search out, you know, win conditions. Uh, we have one Noxious Gear Hulk, which we can use uh, as a win condition to kill our opponent and here's the main thing we want to search out we have two metalwork colossus uh it costs 11 but it it's gonna cost x less where x is the total converted mana cost of non-creature artifacts you control that's why we have a lot of those artifacts and we can sacrifice two artifacts to return the metalwork colossus from the graveyard back to our hand so you can come back we have a single island, we have 12 swamps, we have two sunken hollows, two drowned catacombs, two inventor's fair which gives us life to keep us alive and it can also search out an artifact card. Uh, we have two Foundry of the Councils. We can sacrifice uh, the two creatures that this makes to bring our Colossus back from the graveyard. Uh, we have two Rogue's Passage and two Submerged Boneyards. All right, let's go see this deck in action and see how much I can screw it up. All right, so our opponent's gonna go ahead and play first. He's got a big oversized deck there. We've got three lands, which is actually just fine for me. So we'll go ahead and keep this hand. And we got a Seer's Lantern, which is nice, and a Diabolic Tutor. So I'm feeling pretty good about this hand. And our opponent has an oversized deck, which may mean he's a beginner player, even though he has a, uh, you know, uh, foil land there. We'll go ahead and put the, uh, we don't really need to put the Drowned Catacomb. Uh, cause we, so we're good. Just go ahead and throw out this island here, and pass the turn. We will probably either go with the Foundry Inspector or the Seer's Lantern. Here we do need to get. We're probably gonna put the Seer's Lantern. We want to ramp up to four mana as soon as we can, so we can Diabolic Tutor. Uh, we have the Haunted Cloak. So uh, there's a Fertile Thicket. He got an Oath of Nissa out there. So what do we got? Red and green. Is that both the lands? Uh, let's go ahead and put this Drowned Catacomb. And we can put an Alchemist Vial. That'll help us draw a card. Or get, let us draw a card. <laughs> and hopefully our fourth land. No, but we got an Alchemist Vial. Um, we need a, another Swamps for a Diabolic Tutor. Now, so far, our opponent hasn't done anything yet. Uh, Nissa's Pilgrimage. Okay, so he's ramping now. <clears throat> he's ramping and possibly going a little faster than us. 
there's a there's a swamp which we needed we'll go ahead and play the swamp and what order we want to do this if I play this guy I can play I could play the alchemist vow could I not all right artifacts cost one less to cast so we'll put the foundry inspector no what am I saying that cost one that's fine we get a creature out I should have put the Sears Lantern. I screwed up. I, I don't know what kind of math I was doing there. I'm, I screw up. Okay, fine. That's how you get better. Should have put Sears Lantern. That was not the good play. Because then I could have Diabolic Tutor next turn. But. Alright. He gained some health there. That's not too bad. Uh, From Beyond is bad. So he's probably going to be ramping. He's trying to ramp to Ulamog, maybe. Haunted Cloak. Let's go to put this phone here. The councils. We'll put. Uh, well, let's see. Do we want to attack here? Let's go and attack. Confirm. We want to get the Sears Lantern and Haunted Cloak down, which I think we can do. All right, Sears Lantern. I could have diabolic tutored there, but nah, I don't need to quite yet. We'll go to put this down. And actually, I can get this alchemist file down as well. And that'll let us draw a card. Would like to see a land, but that wasn't it. That's fine. Alright, he's gonna get a little critter there. <clears throat> so now we just need something like the Metalwork Colossus. And with all these artifacts in play, natural connection, he's he's ramping up. Ramping up for that uh I mean, I wonder if he's got the Ulam. Well, he can search for Ulamog with this. And um Hmm. There's a Sky of a Sovereign's console flagship. I actually think I want to play that. Rather than go search for the Metalwork Colossus. So I can play this. I can... What do we need to crew it? Crew of three, which this guy serves that. And we can give it the Haunted Cloak to give it that stuff. And then when it enters the battlefield, do three damage to target creature or planeswalker. So we'll blow up that thing. I think that's what we want to do. Cultivator's Caravan will be kind of nice. But let's go ahead and put this down. Uh, we'll go ahead and blow up this dude here. Let's go ahead and crew this. Uh, using this guy, confirm. And then we'll equip it with the Haunted Cloak. And we'll go into attack phase. And swing with this. Confirm attack. Uh, creature plane. Can we shoot the opponent with that? Actually, I want to just kill that guy. I think I couldn't shoot the opponent anyway. Did he just sacrifice it? I don't know. Alright, so now he might be able to... If he's got Ulamog. One, two, three... Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he doesn't have enough Ulamog yet. Ticket is gonna look at top five cards in the library, get a land. Yeah, he's, he's, he's ramping for it. Rolling Thunder. Uh, he's gonna do what? Kill this guy, right? Is that what you're gonna do? Yeah. He'll blow that guy up. So, we need to hope we draw into a creature here. We did not. Um, so, we can... I guess we Diabolic Tutor here. And we're going to go for... kind of feel like going for the Noxious Gear Hulk. But not really. We'll go with... Uh, 
Where is he? We'll go with the matter with Colossus. Where are you? There you are. Now, can we play him? We can. Uh, do we have a mana left over to equip it? We don't. Um, we don't have a mana to equip it, so I think I may not put him into play. Because I won't be able to attack with him, and then he just gives him a turn to deal with it. So we're just gonna pass the turn. Yeah, we'll pass the turn. We can play him next turn and then give him uh, haste and all that with the Haunted Cloak. But he's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What is he doing? Sacrificing that to get... Alright. He's gonna get a big dragon. We can languish that away if we really want to, but... I really want to put this game away. We don't, we don't want the... We don't want this going on too long. There's the hell kite. And... Gonna just shoot me. It's fine. Now, I could languish before I put the Colossus, but I don't think I want to do that. All we did was draw a land, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, I think I want to get... Can I get this journal down and him? Yeah. Throw down the journal. That's just good to have in play. And we'll put the Metalwork Colossus. We'll equip him with the Haunted Cloak. And go into the attack. Confirm. Now, if he searches out Ulamog, he'll be able to. Uh, Exile the Colossus, which is not good for us. Um, that'll be it for the turn. If he decides to attack with that, we could actually uh, block it with this. So let's see what he does. He may need to keep it back. We can actually languish. Gonna evolutionary leap. Going for Oblivion Sower. Okay. He will be able to play that and get a bunch of cards. So we don't have him dead just yet. Gets a bunch of lands. He's gonna get to shoot us with the Hellkite. have a total of nine damage so they can't double block the Colossus and kill it All right, we got a clue token with that we get a smuggler's copter which does not help us um, none of these really help us um I could languish and then attack with the Colossus as a 6-6 six, six. This would be uh, a four. I won't kill him, but I would really wreck his world. <clears throat> Question is, do I want to do that? He's only got four mana. I don't think he's got enough to kill the Colossus with anything he would have there. And actually, I think I see something we can do here. Let's languish. Let us languish. Oh, that brings only down to four. I thought I could uh, crew this and attack uh, and then ping it to death. But um, if we attack with this in the air, uh, we pretty much win. 
So let's go ahead and crew this with this. And I don't think we need to give it the... Uh, and he has quit. So we'll continue playing. We'll just finish this off. And... Let's go into the attack phase. Uh, alternatively, we could have... We could have just used uh, this alchemist vow so that he couldn't block. That was actually uh, something else we could have done. But, hey, I like winning with the flagship. So two big things there. All right, thanks for playing Nemesis. All right, so our opponent is going to be playing first. Uh, with three lands, we like to see that. Seer's Lantern and some good stuff. I think we can keep this hand. This is not terrible. Uh, one, two, three, four sources of mana, plus some more that we'll probably draw. So let's see here. Yeah, there we go. So we'll go ahead and put on. Uh, let's go ahead and put the swamp so we can get to double black quickly, because we can get um, uh, what is that? The grasp? Something grasp? <laughs> I can't remember the name of the card. Um, uh, we have a couple of double black cards, though. I think this deck could probably make use of Oblivion Strike, even though it's a um, f it costs four. Um, Go ahead and put this swamp here, and we still we still have no play. So our goal with this deck is really to get to one of these big artifacts very fast and kill our opponent before he's able to stabilize his deck. So uh, looks like we may have a black green Golgari deck with with a splash of blue. We got a Foundry Inspector here, um, and I think. Do we want that or the Seer's Lantern? I can never really figure out which one is we want to have more. Well, this guy can't attack, but he does. Uh, yeah, I think we'll go with Foundry Inspector. He may get shot down, though. Our opponent does have black. <clears throat> But getting two foundry inspectors down could be really use, really get us to this uh, flagship pretty quickly. Actually, we could play the flagship this turn, but we wouldn't be able to attack with it. Um, hmm. This is kind of interesting. Um, let's go ahead and put the rogue. I guess it doesn't matter. We're going to put the rogue's passage. Now, I could get this flagship now, but I can't attack with it yet. I really would rather have the Haunted Cloak. Um, but I think we're still going to put this anyway. Let's get that down. It may get... It may get destroyed. He's got green. Um, can we shoot him? We can't. It's just creature planes work. Oh, we'll blast one of these. It's fine. And then we'll just pass the turn. I can't attack with it this round. So, uh, we'll skip attack, and that'll be it. Now, if he gets Delirium, these guys will get become 3-4s, which is not too terrible. These guys are nice, though. I do like these guys, the Mograf Scavenger. But now we've got... Well, we've got the makings of a good offense coming up here. Let's see what we draw into. Uh, Grasp of Dark. That's what I was trying to be. <laughs> Grasp of Darkness is a good good card here. All right, we'll definitely put this land down. Um, I don't know what I want to do with these yet, So, but we do want to crew this. And we'll go ahead and just go into attack phase. What's he got? Murder it. All right. There is really nothing we could do about that. Um, let's go ahead and put uh, another... Hmm, maybe I want to get a journal out. 
I put this guy, then the journal will cost three. I won't be able to play it this turn. If I put this cost two, and then uh, this will cost four. So one, two, three, four. Okay, we'll go with this. Which will let me play this journal. Alright, so yeah, he had an answer right there, an outright murder just for that. <clears throat> That's unfortunate. But, you know, that was the move to do. Hmm. You know, I may need to languish here. Brood Butcher. Uh, do, 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 just, yeah. Alright. Alright. I'm thinking he probably wants to get a ramp into, uh, since he has this guy, he may be an emerge deck. I don't know, Delirium Emerge. Alright, let's see what we got here. Glint Nest Crane. Hmm. Hmm. Well. I am just really wondering, should I just languish here? And just stop. It's not. He doesn't really have a threat. And I think I want to wait till he puts that other creature in play. Um, so we'll go with the Glint Nest, Glint Nest Crane. Uh, see what we search out. Um, hmm. Well, I kind of want the Haunted Cloak. But I really would like the card draw here, but we'll go with the Haunted Cloak. And I think we're just going to go with the... F uh, you know what? I'm not going to put the Foundry Inspector because I may, may be languishing here. So let's just go with the Haunted Cloak there. And then... Oh, we still could play this guy. I could attack with this, uh, though I may want to keep. I think I may want to keep the grasp of darkness available. So let's let's hold on. We don't need to pinging in for one damage is not not gonna be that useful. So we'll we'll just pass the turn. And again, I'm not playing the second foundry inspector because I'm expecting to probably languish this coming turn when he puts that brood butcher. If he plays the Brood Butcher. It costs five, so he needs one more land. I'm sure he's got it, though. You know, these guys here are pretty expendable. I mean, this guy helps our, our you know, oh, it of the Horde Swarm. So he's going to go ahead and... That's just a 4-4, four, four, so... Alright, hold on. During the end... Oh, damn. This is tab. Uh, I don't think I want to sacrifice this. I think I want to get three clues. So, we'll just... Just keep going. <laughs> Alright. There's a Diabolic Tutor that we can play. But I think we want to languish first. Is that what we want to do? We'll go ahead and... Yeah... He'll probably get the Brood Butcher out, but I'm not liking what we're seeing over here. So let's, uh, let's do that. And that's pretty much our turn. Now I should have made sure not to make sure that didn't get tapped, but... Well, it costs two to scry, so we wouldn't have been able to use it, that's fine. Alright. Haunted Dead. Not scared of that. Alright, that guess is the third clue. We can... Sacrifice the clue. Yeah. Alright, let's... Let's do it this way. Let's switch your library for a card and put that card into your hand. 
There's a clue to sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. And we'll get Metalwork Colossus. Yeah. Confirm. Put the swamp down. Ring Colossus out. He's pretty much free, right? Um, let's go ahead and equip him here. And I don't know if I want to put the Foundry Inspector. Let's go for the attack. Confirm. No, oh, he could outright murder that. Uh, he has to wait till like next turn. Uh, he chumps, but it does have trample because of Haunted Cloak. So he will still take 9 damage. And I don't think we're going to play anything else. We're just going to kind of hang on. And that'll be it. I could have Rogue's Passage, but with the trample, kind of not necessary. Mockery of Nature. We destroy target artifact or enchantment. And there's nothing we, we're going to do. There is something we're actually going to do in a second here, but I'll wait to the end of his turn. All right, during his end step, let's go ahead and sacrifice this. Pause. We're going to use his ability. Choose these two to sacrifice brings him back to my hand we get a clue token from that oh noxious gear hulk i think we want to go with this um hmm i can haste let's see here how do we do this if i play the metalwork colossus it's just 10 i will put him down to one life if I Rogue's Passage, right? Um, and then I won't have any... I can't... I won't be able to get any more damage in. Or... I could Noxious Gear Hulk. Actually, I could probably get both of them in. Can I play both? I think I can. Let's Noxious... Oh, do I not have enough? Okay. <laughs> We'll destroy that. That gains us five life. Yes. And we can still play Metalwork Colossus, but we won't be able to give it the Haunted Cloak. And I actually couldn't. I don't have enough to give this. Uh, shit. I miscounted by one mana. So we could put the Metalwork Colossus, but I'm going to hold on to it. Because he, he knows I have it in my hand. So he's going to have to pick and choose. Does he deal with this or this? And pretty soon we're going to have three clues so we can search out another one. There, there goes a uh, languish. He's forced to use that. But now he's tapped out. Now he's quite tapped out. And I wish I had another haunted cloak. Really wish, but we'll bring out the Metalwork Colossus. We'll go ahead and equip it with this. Continue playing. He has had enough. We'll equip it with that. And that tells me he probably does not have what he needs. So we will go into attack phase. And attack with that. Confirm. I don't think there was any way for me to get any more damage right we could diabolic tutor for another one um actually i think i might diabolic tutor for what did he destroy he destroyed already my flagship never mind i could get another <laughs> uh let's go for it Uh, where is it? Our opponents quit, quit. so I don't mind uh, playing around a little bit here. If he was still in the game, I probably wouldn't be doing this, but we're going to go for it. 
I want to get to. We're not going to play him now. We'll just pass the turn. And if he kills this one, we've got another one coming up. <clears throat> but depending what he does here, we may just play them both. I don't think there's much he can do. A Vessel of Nascency. So let's see if he's going to be able to deal with Twin Metalwork Colossi. Colossi would be the plural. Anything? Anything? It's just a computer now, so it shouldn't take so long. Alright, what did he do? Um, Alright. It's getting a card, but he's not going to be able to play anything. Alright, it's over. It's over. God, wow. All this searching abilities that we have here. We're going to put the Metal or Colossus. Go ahead and move this over to him for the haste. That's mainly what we use it for. And into attack phase. Attack before, confirm. And we hit him for 20 damage. Wow. All right. Thanks for playing, Verriker. All right, so we get to start things off here, and we got only two lands, none of them blue, but we do have an Alchemist Vial and a Seer's Lantern. I think I'm kind of okay with this hand. All right, we'll keep this hand. Uh, we are on the play, and our opponent does have an oversized deck there, so... Seems like any time, and you know, this used to happen with Magic Online, where if opponent had an oversized deck, it just really screwed up your mana curve, or whatever. Your the algorithms for you to draw lands. All right, there's a, uh, I oh, did we go with the Alchem's Vow, the Glintness Crane? This still gives us uh, our artifact cards. I think we go with with that um, over the the vial here. So Glintness, hello, play the card. So that'll let us get an artifact card. Uh, well, there's only one option, so the caravan. Now, the caravan requires a crew of three, so we won't be able to crew that for a while. But we can use it for ramp, so that's a good thing. Uh, what do we want to put down next? Probably the Seer's Lantern. I'm going to put this. Um, yeah, because Alchemist Vaughn. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Two Haunted Cloaks is not that great, because we only really need one in play at a time. So having two is not super beneficial, but, um, you know, they do count their, their cost does count towards helping us get our Colossus in play. So, you know, there you go. That's, you know, they will serve some kind of good use. All right. A thriving Rhino. He's a two, three, which will probably become a two, four. And even if he becomes a 2-4, we can Grasp of Darkness. That's so we don't need to worry too much about that. Let's go ahead and put that. This gives what? Oh, not you. This gives Vigilance, Tramp, and Haste. Uh, none of which really works with this guy. Um, so I think we may go with Cultivator's Caravan and the Alchemist Vial. Let's go and attack first. Confirm. I don't really think we need to grab. Well, hmm. I may want to keep grasp grasp of darkness in case he tries to enchant that. Um. So that means we want to do what? Do we want to go with Cultivator's Caravan? Probably. I really would like the Alchemist Vial though. Maybe we go with both. The Cultivator's Caravan. I just. Some for some reason I feel like I really need to hold this grasp of darkness. Hmm. Let's go for the card draw. Let's go for the card draw. It doesn't matter if he makes this kind of big, as long as we can get our really big stuff. Uh that's what's really gonna matter. Alright, but we're drawing a big fat 
zero right now. <clears throat> so fertile thicket. That's just gonna put a force on top of his deck. He attacks with the 2-3. That's no biggie. Well, is he gonna make it? Yep, make it to 3-4. All expected. Alright, let's see what we draw into here. Oh, Metal War Colossus! And he costs what? Uh, reduced by 8. Uh, which means we have to pay 3 to bring him out. Uh, but if I put the Haunted Cloak... Calculated dismissal. Really? I can pay the three. Um, sure. And I can still get. Oh, but I can't. I won't be able to equip him. I won't be able to equip him. So, but we may want to get him into play now. Now that he's tapped out, we'll do that. He's playing blue. He may have bounce, but we'll have to waste, you know, bounce to, to get rid of him. And we can always bring him back with, uh, uh, bring him back with haste. Uh, we will go ahead and attack with this. So let's see what he's got. I mean, I'm expecting some kind of bounce. Though he might be holding on to a bunch of counter spells. I mean, I could have just let that go and then played the other haunted go, but I think that's fine. Territory Bailoff, okay. So he's got seven. They, they still can't double block him. And a cultivator's caravan. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and haunted cloak this guy. And then, if we really want to play any of these, let's just go into the attack. Confirm. Do you want to take 10 damage? Nope. It does have trample, so that's... Alright, I don't think I really need these in play. I kind of want to keep the Grasp of Darkness up, which means we have one, uh, two, three mana available. I could put this Cultivator's Caravan. Um, why not? This gives us more mana. Oh. Oh, they give us mana of any any color to your mana pool. Alright. So we can still do Grasp of Darkness. And that'll be it for now. Alright. Alright, he can certainly attack me with that 3-4 if he wishes. Uh, and our opponent has quit, so we'll continue playing. Looks like he does not have an answer to a 10-10 Trampler. Metalwork Colossus, man, with a Haunted Cloak. V very potent. Look at that Haunted Cloak, man. That thing is cool. All right. Very cool combo that you've put together here, Diego. Really like it. Uh, the deck has been pretty consistent. If I win this game, this will be, I think, six games in a row that I've played with this game, with this deck. Uh, some, you know, a few practice games. Um, plus this. Uh, he brings that. Uh huh. What does she do again? Tell you to, to one target land. That's not that useful. All right, it's just gonna. Oh, I meant to grasp a darkness thing. That. Oh, look at this. Wow. Wow. All right. Well. <laughs> Uh, we can bring the Metal War Colossus out for free. Uh, we'll go ahead and equip the Haunted Cloak to him.
And I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this blocker. And we're going to go into attack phase. I could have just used Alchemist Vow, but... Alright. Um, one to the face. One to the planeswalker. And this one to the face. And there we go. And we basically completely demolish everything. Unless he's got a fog here. Nope. All right. Thank you for playing, Yoda. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching me misplay some magic duels. If uh, you have some critique on this deck or ways that you think could make it better, please comment down below. And as always, constructive criticism is always welcome. And if you have some deck lists that you would like to see played on this channel, be sure to submit them either down in the comments or you can search for my email, zerobudgetgeek at gmail.com i will definitely answer all incoming correspondence so guys thanks for watching and i'll see you soon